We're standing here by a plot of KS Providence, which is a 2022 release out of the K-State Manhattan breeding program. And we're excited with this variety here because of its yield potential. It has yielded really well across a wide geography and a wide range of environmental conditions as well across Kansas over many years now as it was coming down the breeding program. Uh, KS Providence is a medium maturity variety. Its major area of adaptation is going to be central Kansas, but it moves really well until the western portion of the state as well, because it has a gene that brings a larger root mass to this variety. That gene, unfortunately, also brings some down uh, in, in terms of quality, so it's going to be just an average quality variety. Disease-wise, KS Providence hangs in really well when our uh, under those leaf spotting diseases like ten spot and septoria, so it will be a good option for wheat on wheat. Uh, KS Providence also is really good in terms of leaf rust resistance, uh, and it brings an intermediate stripe rust resistance to the table. Now, it has enough scab tolerance as well that it can be a good option after corn. And again, keep in mind that that intermediate resistance to stripe rust that it has in many years may be enough to just hold on to that application for scab. So, you have one fungicide shot for scab in acres after corn and it should be covered here both for stripe rust as well as scab. Although KS Providence doesn't have any genes specifically providing resistance to the wheat streak mosaic virus, we have also observed in a number of situations where many other varieties in the plot were actually uh, taken with severe wheat streak mosaic infection and KS Providence was actually hanging in fairly well. So it may be an option under those conditions too. It will be just intermediate on acid soil, so low soil pH can be a concern. But again, the overall yield performance of this variety across many locations across Kansas and outside the state as well has been nothing short than impressive. And we're excited with this release and we think that we can gain many acres across Kansas in the next coming years.